Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about how to add Windows 10 machine to Azure Active Directory. That means we are joining our machine to Azure AT. So let's begin with that demo. Uh, also, we will be demonstrating single sign-in also. Please do check out that uh, lecture also within the same series. So if you see here under my Azure Active Directory, I do have user accounts coming from Windows Server 80. That means from my local on-premises Active Directory. Now also, uh, if I just search for the Daniel Craig account, which is uh, which got created in Azure AD. That means the source is from Azure AD. So that means uh, we are actually working in a hybrid environment, but this demo specific to uh, just for the Azure AD. And this is the uh, my Windows 10 machine. Of course, that's wallpaper from Neil Island in India. The beautiful place with a lot of corals and other things. Uh, now, uh, when I go back to my Windows 10, I'll just go to Workgroup. This is the machine is in a workgroup environment altogether. Let's uh, go back to uh, settings, Windows settings and accounts and uh, access work or school. And now, if I just click on connect, this is where I can start connect to the Windows 10 uh, machine convener join either to the local Active Directory if you see here or to the uh, Azure Active Directory also. So both the things are available. And if you enter here what would happen is this device gets registered so by doing the registration uh, you have the validity uh, but you know if you're joining you get you know more advantages so uh, we are trying for the uh, joining to the azure ad so this is the option which we wanted to try now so let's begin by clicking on this uh, let's click on join this device to azure active directory that would uh, gives me another window for me to enter my local user account details. So in my case, if you remember Daniel Craig account, so I gave that and I enter my password here and click on sign in post to that. So what would happen is it's going to validate in the back end of the user ID and password. And it says that, hey, you make sure that uh, you're joining to your organization and the, this account becomes as the a local administrator also on this specific device so that's the advantage uh, joining in the machine to the Azure AD uh, you can also control those within um, uh, with with the help of MGM and other devices uh, other device uh, configurations but let's join here uh, so that the machine uh, joins here so as a next spot uh, would be if I just go to uh, go and show you in my Azure portal. I didn't click, no, I, I have not yet clicked on as join. That means the devices are not available here, anything. So if I just click on join now, so this device gets registered and enrolled into Azure AD as a member. So that might take some time. It actually in the back end, it creates some certificate for this user and all that would happen if you just try uh, other commands you know get more information so i'm, I'm gonna uh, show you in a minute or so just close then you see here you have the option so if you get the option here more information something like that that means the machine also join into your mdm so mobile device management server like intune or other uh, portals so now i'll just uh, click on uh, uh, restart so that you know Lock in uh, with the Craig account, uh, Daniel Craig account, and then uh, so the account which I'm trying to log in is Azure account. So that's a land in my lab uh, dot com, which is which is my Azure AD tenant, right? So I would enter that username and password here. Once I enter the username, uh, username and password, I can log into this machine and I get all the benefits. By the way, I also promise that um, this demo also will be. Uh, demonstrator for the single sign-on for the azure ad specific like my my apps applications can be in a view so you can you know uh, validate that part also so i log into this machine now if i just go back to my uh, internet explorer so i just open up everything it's working in it so i'll just uh, open my google.com once again yeah I, I do have internet let's uh, click on command prompt so this is the important command so you might have to you know, make a note that uh, if you're trying to work with azure ad for the registration so you would actually use the ds rec cmd command so this would actually gives the information for you so 
if you see here uh, if you're trying to you know a deal stake uh, device status is completely as your ad joint or enterprise joint or domain joint or device state uh, indicates so in our case it should be uh, azure ad only so the first one so you see here the azure ad joint is coming up so with the help of uh, the specific uh, ds a uh, rig command uh, with a slash status it actually gives the uh, all this output including the sso and uh, prt uh, and other information also in the below of the output but for now what you need to understand is with this command you would be you know, getting more information like device id so this id you should be able to see it in azure ad also and also the tenant details these are your tenant details all that and also the user state information and if you see here azure ad joint and if you see here the enterprise ad so if the computer is coming from the a uh, hybrid environment that means you get the join as yes here as well as the azure ad join so both would be you not know, getting but in our case uh we just focus now azure ad so we got the azure ad so you can you know, just verify that specific one yes as is already there so that's good uh no no and as yes, no and you see here uh here the more information is available like um uh, you can see here user state is talking about uh the complete organization specific one and also sso state that is the single sign on specific state information like you know as your uh, ad prt is already there that means you are ready to go for uh, open any of the client apps or maybe portal load or azure.com that would open without any password so that's advantage you know that can be you no know, get it uh if you just you know a uh, query for this as the yes as your ad prt so let's uh click on that part also so we did explain that uh now uh, all that um ds uh rex cmd i did you know try to explain my best uh within the small video uh if you just you know give as instead of the status uh like you know join that means it's going to join the azure ad so let's open portal.isu.com that would actually opens with a uh, correct account without any username and password prompting right similarly um i can open maybe my apps like my application uh specific one uh, this url called my apps uh, my applications dot uh, microsoft.com that would actually opens my applications if i published any of the azure ad specific applications in my azure ad and uh, you can check out under accounts like work uh, access um, oops, oops uh, that's not the one uh, so access uh, work or school you see here this is there already you can manage by joining and joining this specific mission cannot join to azure aid uh, to your local um, domain post to this and you see here this is just the uh, work group so and if i just refresh here i should be able to see here my computer name and as you ed joined and tunnel uh correct specific and complaint is no that means uh these two values this is mdm like you know you have in tune then you get uh, mdm specific and if the policies are applying from the mdm then you would you know get here as the complaint but these two are not applicable in our demonstration uh because we are not working with anything with to do with the intune so that's fine so if i just click on that i get the same device id so which we talked about ds uh, rec cmd status uh, which was showing the device id so same thing object id all that was actually coming and also you can find out more information like username and the joint uh, type of the join and the version of the operating system when it could register all that information is available i hope this demonstration is useful for you uh, thank you for watching this